Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video with me. My name is Cotton Candy Doll. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome all. Hi. This is a, um, this is an announcement, but it's also a recap of the last video I did when I went back to Toshinari's house and I almost got got. So I haven't been back there since. <laughs> I was kind of afraid to go back. I still am. I really want my guy to go with me when I go back over there because I don't know what type of chaos I'm walking into. So I want to talk a little bit about that. I don't know how long this video is going to be. This isn't like one of my regular announcement videos where it's like it starts and then it's over. I do want to explain a few things in here. Also, so um, there's a few of you guys on my, uh, a few of you guys are on my Discord. Shout outs to all of you, by the way. Shout outs to everybody who gave. Uh, we talked about it. We came up with a plan for the next time I go back to Toshinari's house. Because like I said, Hawks look to be infected. So the first time I traveled to Toshinari's house, I brought a prop there. And it actually became like a real gun, I guess. So I decided to just make, um, to make kind of like a rifle. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm not really completely done upgrading this weapon. When I travel back to Toshinori's house, I have to be safe. My guy told me I wouldn't need a gun, but then he refuses to go with me and it's like, I have to be safe when I go back. I don't want to walk into a trap. Before we jump into that, okay, let's talk about what happened last time. So guys, you guys remember what happened to me last time. I'm going to explain it and break it down because some people are pretty confused. I'm just going to set this over here for now. Yeah, so I'm going to... My plan is to sneak back to Toshinari's house and I'm going to shift to his house so I don't end up somewhere weird because usually when I try and shift somewhere else, it doesn't work out the way I want. And so I'm going to shift to Toshinari's house. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm distracted by that. <laughs> I get distracted so easily. I'm distracted by that. I'm so sorry. My plan is to shift back to Toshinari's house. And what I want to do with the rifle is I want to loaded up with some of his darts that he uses on me. Um, I wish there was a way for me to take out the arousal effect because I don't really want to deal with any like, and I talked, we talked about this in the discord, like I don't want to deal with a horny zombie. You know, that won't be good for anyone. So I, I don't know how I would take that out because Koshinori obviously has those kind of, he has those kind of bullets at his house. So he's the only one. I just don't know. I guess I'll wait till he goes to school, but then also, I don't, I really don't know anything about uh, Toshinori. Like, is he okay? Like, what happened? You know, he never came back. So I'm going to go into detail. I'm going to explain the way the serum works because a lot of you guys seem really confused about it. So as you know, the reality snatcher, um, he could take, he could go into that realm, into the Resident Evil 4 realm and grab Frodo. Okay. Frodo, the little infant that I made. I didn't know I was, it was going to turn out to be an infant. Anyway, um, when he traveled there about a week ago, he said that he would need two weeks to go back. It's already been a week, but that means he would need another week before he can go back and get him. And I don't really know what his quirk is. I don't know why it's like that. And I'm really glad that, you know, I don't have to wait two or three weeks to go back to see Toshinori once I travel there. So... I mean, actually, actually, I take that for granted, don't I? Like, because I go there, uh, well, I was going all the time before this happened. So that, that, that was what they came up with. So he's basically supposed to go back there a week from now to get him. Last I heard, the last time I was there. They said they found another way and they brought this doctor in. And this doctor had the ability to create organs within the human body. He could basically create any, anything or any organ or anything in the body. I mean, that's, that's perfect for like a scientist, but can you imagine being like a doctor or scientist and actually having a talent like that? I mean, that's gotta kind of be a bad combination. I mean, someone who's already passionate about that is probably gonna end up, end up turning into someone that's like insane, I guess, but I don't know. So because they couldn't get him, the doctor's method was for me to give birth to Frodo in that reality, in my hero academia, 
academia reality, okay? I'm sorry. I'm going to go slow so you guys can understand, and I'm going to be very blunt. It might even be a little cringy, but I, I mean, you won't be confused after I explain it, okay? So basically, in order for Frodo to be born there, in order for him to be rescued the way they wanted to rescue him right then, he had to be made the way babies are actually made in that reality. And they're made the same way, through intercourse, through sex, whatever you call it. So um, the way the serum works is there's two doses. There's a blue one and there's a red one, which you guys probably saw in the thumbnail. I try not to give too much away. The blue one is only like the first dose. So that one is, the colors are just to separate it. So what happens is the doctor injects the guy with it, okay? And when he injects him with that serum, he has to have intercourse with the whoever the female is, okay? So imagine two people having sex with each other, okay? Intercourse. When the guy starts to climax, that serum he put on him, Frodo's gene in there, the first part of his gene isolates itself from the cell. It goes straight to his reproductive system. And when he ejaculates, when he explodes, when he erupts, when he spills, when his hose spills into whoever the woman is, because not me, not, not now, um, whenever it spills into that person, so goes the gene, okay? So basically, that's the way for the gene to exit out of him. And that's the only way it can be done. And it's, and it's the reason it has to be a sperm is because it's, you need that to create the baby. But also, his genetics are in there. So that stuff's going with him. The second dose, okay, is just the rest of him. The only thing is, he has to be injected with that. He has to be injected with the second dose before the end of an hour. So he has to do this very quickly, okay? So goes inside the female, ejaculates in her. Okay, this is scientific, but you guys should know it. And the doctor has to be there to inject him with the second dose when he's finished so that he can start again. Because there's only an hour incubation period, all that means is that it has an expiration date. Okay, so that means it's only active for that hour. If an hour happens to pass and he doesn't erupt again, in the female or you know explode in her you guys get it <laughs> okay i told you it'd be cringy if he doesn't do that then you, he's just wasted the serum okay so he probably had a bunch of doses because i'm guessing this whoever this doctor was he was a scientist so the reason why it has only an hour is because once it's activated it starts deteriorating immediately both of them, because they're connected. So when the guy ejaculates into the female, the second part of the serum, it's basically like a magnet. It's meant to find its way to the egg that had the genetic. Okay, you guys should get it by now. So everything is in that egg. The doctor, whoever he is, that, that strange guy, creates the uterus inside of the female. He can do it for about three hours. The baby is formed within an hour of being in there and immediately they induce her for birth. If she can't give birth within the next two hours, then they, of course, they just do a C-section and remove the baby. But there is a 100% risk of infection because the baby is a bioweapon. Um, because the baby is a bioweapon, that's the reason why this serum, that's the reason why his genetics had to be inserted in separately. So once the guy spewed that out, then he can have the second one put in him. Now, Toshinori has a unique quirk that allows him to heal. So having toxins and things in his blood, he can have a little bit more than the average male since he's not an average male. So the doctor was saying if he injected him with both of those, he could inject that. He could, he could deliver all of it in one shot and be fine. It wouldn't kill him. It wouldn't poison him because his body has a healing quirk too, along with you know, his ability to move fast and all that other stuff. So. I hope I explained it to you guys well enough. So, if you guys have questions, put them in the, like, the link. I think I explained everything, right? I explained why. Did I explain why I had a two, a one hour time frame? Yes, because it starts deteriorating, okay?
So even if he didn't, even if he didn't inject a second dose in the mouth, it automatically starts deteriorating once it's injected because they're connected. Okay, the genetics are connected. Which actually, I think the doctor's pretty brilliant for coming up with something so awesome. Um, and it's also in my field of expertise because I'm going to be, you know, going to school for this stuff. So I feel like. Um, he really was just doing this because he was curious about what would happen. It wasn't that he, the doctor was really just bad. At first, I know I was like, I don't really know what to think of him. But now I'm thinking, now that I'm more of that, I think about it. He was very, like, talented. And that's kind of genius what he decided to do. Um, but like I said, not me, not now. <laughs> like, it was not going to happen to me. I'm sorry. And also it's Umbrella. I mean, I really don't trust Umbrella. I don't trust the Umbrella Corporation. You shouldn't trust them because... So to stop myself from walking into a trap into complete chaos, my plan is to shift to my hero academia at Twitchy Gray's house. When he's at school, grab some bullets, load up the bullets in here. This was going to be the part I was going to load it into. I thought about putting it in this part and using this part as a scope. But this is much too long for a scope. I actually wanted to add glass at the end of it. Um, and I thought of adding, adding like a bridge on the end of this so that I actually haven't had any time to work on this weapon and upgrade it. So this is a, this is kind of like a, a secret spy mission. Like, I just hope no one sees me. Like, I hope Toshinori doesn't see me and say, what the heck are you doing? You know, I just want to check it out. I need to make sure that it's safe. Ideally, this, the best decision would be like to shift to the school. To make sure none of the kids are infected and make sure there are no zombies. Because if there are, then... And I kind of almost don't want my feet to test the ground. It would be better if I could just float around. But I doubt I'll be able to do that. I mean, use my quirk the entire time. I mean, I used my quirk for a little while the last time uh, to fight hawks. And, I mean, it, it lasted, but it didn't last, you know? <laughs> so, I haven't mastered it yet. And guys, so like, I'm, I'm really actually scared to go back. I'm disappointed that my guy doesn't want to go with me, but he said I don't need a weapon, but I'm, I'm, if I'm going, I'm bringing a weapon with me. Like, I have to. I have to be safe. Um, anyway, this was an announcement video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope the video wasn't too long. I hope I explained everything. If you're still confused about something and you want me to explain it, just put it in the comments. I'll just write. I'll just write it all down. That way you guys can see. But I think I explained it well enough. Yeah, I know it's kind of cringy, but you know, it had to be done so that people wouldn't be confused. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I pretty much explained it. I hope I did, guys. That's the only reason I'm sitting here thinking. I'm like, I explained how the how the how the serum worked. Oh, and also when Hawks injected himself with it, after a while his eyes turned red. I did say that it was 100% risk of infection, even though they told me it was only like, what, 75 or something? But I knew that wasn't true. They just really wanted me, I mean, that doctor really just wanted me to try it, but. So I'm gonna try and shift there again tonight and see what happens. I'll let you know how my recon mission went, how my spy mission went. <laughs> um, you guys, uh, I think, I'll, I think I'm, I'll be okay, I think. I told my, my guy to rescue me, but he always does it the last minute if I need to tell, but I mean, even though he said don't worry, I'm still kind of worried at the last time, like, how was, he looked infected, so, I mean, I am the shift there tonight, but, and I'll let you guys know what happened, but if I change my mind about shifting there tonight, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow night, but I mean, it has to be done. Plus, I miss Toshinori. I need to make sure everything turned out okay and that sort of thing. So, um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Um, hi guys. Uh, don't forget to give my video a like. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when my other videos become available like this soon. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.